Okay, good morning guys. Andito tayo sa part 2 ng ating electricity lecture. Okay, konting recap lang muna tayo dun sa ating uh, part 1 which sa part 1 natin, nilaborate natin yung foundations of electricity. Where in sa foundations of electricity, nandun yung electron theory. Okay? Next is, inelaborate din natin yung two kinds of electricity which is the static and the dynamic electricity. Sa mga hindi nakapanood, pwede kayo manood nung ating previous videos which is the part 1 of electricity. And don't forget to like, syempre subscribe, at uh, hit the notifications bell na rin para ma-inform kayo sa bago nating videos. Kung meron kayong suggestions and other questions na pwede natin talakayan dito and pag-usapan is pwede kayong mag-leave ng uh, comments dyan sa baba. Okay, so start na tayo dito sa ating part 2 continuations of electricity. Okay, dito sa ating part 2 is tatalakayin natin yung ating sources of electricity. There are lots of sources that bounds electricity. Kumbaga, pwede yung liwanag maging electricity. Yung tubig, pwede a source of electricity. Napakaraming sources of electricity na hindi natin namamalaya na pwede pala natin i-convert yung isang energy to another form of energy. And this video is we're going to tackle those sources of sources of electricity. But before we talk about those sources of electricity, kailangan muna natin malaman yung dalawang paraan para makapag-harness tayo ng electricity. Though there are two different ways on how we can harness electricity, which is the first one is yung mechanical way and the second one is yung chemical way. Ano yung pinagkaiba ni mechanical at ano yung pinagkaiba ni chemical? Pag sinabi natin mechanical, ibig sabihin there is a mechanism. Okay? Meron siyang mechanism na ginagamit in which kadalasan sa mechanical way is gumagamit tayo ng mga generators to convert a certain form of energy to another form of energy. Doon naman tayo sa chemical way. Siyempre, pag sinabi lang natin chemical way, isa lang yan, which is battery. Lagi ang sasagot dyan is yung battery pag sinabing chemical way. So, punta tayo sa mechanical way. Mechanical way, meron tayong two sources of electricity. Yung primary source and the secondary source. Pag sinabi natin primary source, ibig sabihin siya muna yung unang sources of electricity. At sa primary source, included dyan si GSWH, parang Golden State Warriors. Hooray, di ba? So, G, S, W, H. Ano yung G? Ano yung S? Ano yung W? At ano yung H? Madalas na tinatalong sa board exam or sa an another questions, yung which of the following does include sa primary source at saka dun sa secondary source. Alam natin yung mga sources. Pwede alam natin mga geothermal, alam natin mga solar, alam natin mga coal, nuclear. Pero kailangan muna natin malaman or i-categorize kung primary ba siya or secondary source ba siya ng electricity. So, dito, under ni mechanical way, meron tayong primary source and secondary source. We're in sa primary, primary source, under niya si G, S, W, H. Ano yung G? Ano yung S? Ano yung W? Ano yung H? Okay, si G ay geothermal, si S ay solar, si W is wind power, and H is hydro power. So, ibig sabihin, under ni mechanical way, which primary source includes GSWH, geothermal, solar, wind power, and hydro power. Dito naman tayo sa secondary source. Ano yung included sa secondary source? Pag sinabi natin secondary source, ibig sabihin, kakailanganin muna natin si primary source bago tayo makapaggawa ng another source of energy which under sa secondary source. Ano ano yung mga nasa secondary source? And as secondary resource ay si na coal energy, si nuclear energy, si natural gas, and si biomass. So, ibig sabihin, before we can proceed to secondary resource, we must find first on the primary source. Let's say, for example, bago tayo makagawa ng coal energy, ibig sabihin, kailangan muna natin si geothermal energy. Bakit? Kasi si coal energy, those are molten rocks, which uh, na form from the heat energy ng ating earth. Okay? Bawa, let's say for example, si biomass. In order for us to sustain life, kailangan natin ng solar. Kasi bio means life. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga fragments nitong energy na na-harness through the use of biomass is we need solar energy. And as well as natural gas, which forms under the sedimentary layers of the earth, kailangan muna natin yan si hydro 
power. Before we proceed sa secondary source, kailangan natin si primary source. And the best way para um, makapasa tayo or any, uh, maintindihan natin yan is to categorize first. Okay? There are two ways on how we can harness electricity. The mechanical way and the chemical way. Pag mechanical way, gumagamit tayo ng mechanism. Pag chemical way, iisa lang ang sagot dyan, battery. Okay? Mechanical way, under niya, dalawang source. Primary source and the secondary source. Primary source, under ni primary source, geothermal, solar, wind power, hydropower. Under ni secondary source, CNNB. Coal, nuclear gas, uh, nuclear energy, natural gas, and the biomass. So, ngayon naman, isa-isahin natin kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba ni geothermal, sa solar, sa wind power, or sa hydropower. Okay, punta muna tayo sa mga primary source of energy. The first primary source of energy is the geothermal energy. Wherein, pag sinabi natin geothermal, geo means earth, and thermal means heat. Okay, so definitely, pag sinabi natin geothermal energy, this is the heat energy of the earth. So, ibig sabihin, we are harnessing electricity, okay, from the heat of the earth. Wherein, uh, gumagamit tayo dito ng steam turbines, okay, which sinaharness natin yung earth's natural heat na ginagamitan or inassociate ng active at saka inactive volcanoes, okay? So, this steam from high temperature or geothermal fluids can be used to drive turbines and generate electrical power. So, ibig sabihin, ganito yung picture. Kukunin niya lahat ng heat tapos magda, ma, magkagawa siya ng steam turbine or magda-drive yung ating turbine dyan using the heat energy at yung turbine na yun which causes the, the generator to move at yung generator ay magko-convert ng electricity okay, ng heat energy to electrical energy yun yung paraan para makapagawa tayo ng electricity in the means of geothermal energy next is the hydro Power. Pag sinabi natin hydropower, ibig sabihin this is a type of making electricity using the water. Hydro means water. So, this is the force of moving water from the rivers or storage reservoir. So, ibig sabihin, we are harnessing electricity from the use of hydropower. Gumagamit tayo nyan. Meron tayo sa, let's say for example, pag hydropower, pwede natin gamitin yung mga falls, di ba? Where in pagbagsak ng tubig, idadrive nyo yung turbine. Then, from uh, yung force ng moving flow, flow of moving water is idadrive ng turbine hanggang sa tuloy-tuloy gagalaw yung generator at makakapag-produce siya ng electricity. Okay? So, pare-parehas lang yung kanilang mga um, systems or yung mga kanilang mechanism wherein another form of energy ko convert natin into electrical energy. Okay? So, ayan. Pwedeng in a form of dams, pag bumagsak yung tubig, ibabagsak, idadrive yung turbine. Pag yung turbine umikot, makapag-produce ng electricity by converting the energy or mechanical energy to electrical energy through the use of generators. Okay, solar energy. Madalas lumalabas tong solar energy, isa lang yan, the most inexhaustible and cleanest source of energy. So, ibig sabihin, there is no pollution, di ba? So, cleanest source of energy known. Pero, ang pros niya is this is a cleanest source of energy. Pero, ang cons niya is this is a limited source. No, it's not a limited source but konti lang yung mapuproduce niya. Kaso, ang problema dito is um, sa umaga lang tayo makapag-harness ng electricity or we're in solar or kapag ka yung araw is present lang. Kaya siya um limited yung kanyang power source and at the same time is kailangan niya ng malawak na space para makapag-harness tayo ng electricity but with the use of the solar power or solar energy we can harness electricity from the sunlight and convert it to another form of energy which is the electrical energy and gumagamit tayo dyan ng mga photodiodes where in that photodiodes converted light into electrical energy okay so, GSWH, yun yung mga nasa primary source of energy. Geothermal, solar, wind power, and the hydro power. Okay, coal energy. Okay, pag sinabi natin coal energy, this is another form of secondary source of electricity. Coal energy, the nuclear power, 
natural gas and the biomass okay coal energy these are the molten rock di ba na galing sa ilalim kaya sa tinawag na non renewable energy power source bakit kasi pag naubos yan ubos na talaga and it does dictates yung energy na nandiyan yung element ng carbon. Pag mataas yung percentage ng carbon niya, mas mataas yung potential na rank na kaya niyang ilabas, di ba? Ano yung pinakamataas or mataas na rank ng uh, coal, di ba? Ang pinakamataas is the anthracite at ang pinakamababa is the lignite. So ibig sabihin, mas mataas yung potential energy or potential rank ni anthracite kumpara kay lignite, kaya mas mataas rin yung potential energy na pwedeng i-release ni anthracite kumpara kay lignite. And another thing is, coal energy is a non-renewable source of energy. Okay? So, bumalik tayo. Ayan. Coal energy, a non-renewable source of energy. Next is, a nuclear energy. Pag sinabi naman natin nuclear energy, this is a form of electricity wherein gumagamit tayo dito ng um, atoms, okay? Nuclear energy. Wherein, pag sinabi natin nuclear energy, this is a form of harnessing electricity which we are going, para siyang kapares ng geothermal energy. Kaso, itong nuclear energy, is mas maraming uh, ginagamit na siya ng mas maraming steam power para i-drive na yung engines. And this type of nuclear energy, ang pros niya, this is a type of uh, energy power source which is very malakas. Mataas yung kaya niyang i-produce ng energy kumpara kay solar, di ba? Si solar, this is a great way of producing energy, eco-friendly. And at the same time, it is the cleanest source of energy. But, limited lang yung babibigyan niya. Itong si nuclear energy is mataas yung kaya niyang ibigay na source of energy or energy kumpara kay solar. Ngunit, this is environmentally hazardous. Kumbaga, hindi siya ganun ka, um, ka-applicable. Okay, meron tayong nuclear energy sa bataan, but hindi siya masyadong, hindi siya nagagamit, ba diba? So, kasi nga, environmental hazardous. But, kaya niyang ibigay yung mataas na percentage ng electricity na kinakailangan natin. Okay, next is yung natural gas. Natural gas is made up mostly of methane. Okay, pag sinabi natural gas, methane. Okay? So, this methane are combination of hydrogen and carbon na magiging clue nyo dyan is these are type of energy which is trapped beneath the sedimentary layers of the earth. Kung baga na andyan yan sa sedimentary layers of the earth. And lastly is yung biomass energy. Pag sinabi natin biomass energy, bio means life and mass yun yung mga extracted from life. Okay? So, biomass describes all solid material or animal or vegetable origin which energy may be extracted and so called as solid biomass. So, kailangan natin si photosynthesis para makapag-produce tayo ng biomass energy. And that biomass energy, syempre, uh, it's a form of secondary source kasi kailangan natin ng solar energy or ng sunlight bago tayo makapag-produce ng type ng energy na ito. Okay, so up next na ating videos is itatalakay naman natin na ang types of electric current, the electrical circuit, the parts of electrical circuit, and the types of electrical circuit. Again, uh, recap lang natin itong videos na ito. This is the part 2 of our video which we are discussed the sources of electricity and the sources of electricity includes different forms of how we can harness electricity. We can harness electricity in two ways, the mechanical and the chemical. Pag sinabi natin chemical, this only talks about battery. Okay? Pag sinabi natin mechanical, there's a mechanism and we have two sources of this type of waste. Okay? The primary source and the secondary source. Pag sinabi natin primary source, under niya si geothermal, si solar, si wind power, and si hydro power. Okay? Pag sa secondary source, under niya si CNNB. Coal, nuclear, power, natural gas, and the biomass energy. Okay? So, tune in. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave comment kayo guys para kung may questions kayo and other um, 
content na pwede natin pag-usapan is pwede nating i-videos or i-feature dito sa ating channel. So, God bless, good luck, and thank you for watching.